world isn't interested in Jesus coming because they think he's behind bars. And man's strength, we're going to be able to make this world right again. We're going to be able to overcome evil, get rid of all the sex trafficking, get these leaders back into line, and yes, we can do this. And a lot of this talk is coming from prophets that call themselves prophets of God. They think, yeah, we can get rid of the sex trafficking, the child abuse. As long as Satan is the prince of the power of the air, the only one who's going to get rid of all sex trafficking, rid of all the abuse, is Jesus Christ when he comes. And he's going to come after seven years of tribulation. The church has already been taken before it starts. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, the restrainer will be removed, and then the lawless one will be revealed. And the restrainer is that Holy Spirit that's within a true believer. So once the church, the true believers, are taken up, that's when the first seal of seven, Jesus Christ, opens. And it will be the Antichrist who's going to come with a covenant of peace, as it is written in Daniel 9, 27. He is going to get Israel to agree to a covenant with the many. And they're going to be able to establish, oh, peace. But you know, it won't last long, because the second seal that Jesus opens in heaven is war. And then the third seal that Jesus opens is famine, which is a logical order of events. When you have war, you're going to have famine. And then the fourth seal, which is the fourth horseman, that is death. That is Hades. There's going to be a fourth of the population that will be killed. So do you want to wait and see man's glory with their power in their armament? Or do you want to humble yourself like a child? And look to Jesus. He is the only one who can deliver this world from evil. It's not going to be good men. Because no one is good. Not even one. Jesus is the only one who is good. And for those of us who believe in Jesus, what has happened is, I've confessed my sins. I've admitted that I am a sinner. And in exchange, I give him my sins. He took them on the cross to pay that penalty with his blood. And then he has given me that robe of righteousness. He has given me his righteousness. I don't have righteousness of my own. That would be pride. I hope and pray, Lord Jesus, whoever is watching this, they will humble themselves and not want to experience the tribulation period. Yes, many think that Jesus is behind bars. He's not going to be able to do anything. Well, for seven years, it will seem like that, but it's actually God's wrath. And it will be a time of great conversions because in Revelation 7, there is a countless multitude of people who turn to Christ during the tribulation period and they will be martyred as saints. Do not be deceived. Come to Christ today. Don't wait. If you wait and you're left behind when Jesus comes for the bride, when he will meet us in the air, and you're left here without the Holy Spirit, you're going to face the worst time of history. You're going to face worse than any nuclear attack you're afraid of now. So come to Jesus. Receive him into your heart. Pray a prayer that's simple, but from your heart saying, I want you, Jesus Christ, to be my Lord and Savior. I want you to turn me into the person you want me to be and let me walk with you, help me to walk with you, help me to overcome sin in my life, help me to forgive all who have hurt me. And Lord, I give you permission to change my mind on anything so that I see what you see and I think the way you think and please take me. I want to escape the wrath that's coming. I hope and pray 
as many people when I think of my own family, that they will not be left behind. They will want to know Jesus Christ as their God, Lord, and Savior. Amen. I want to hear your shout. I want to hear your voice of the archangel. And I want to hear the trumpet of God so that I am taken and will meet those from 6,000 years of all these people who have passed away in Christ or in faith in that coming Christ, those in the Old Testament. They will all be taken and we will meet them in the air. That is a promise that Jesus Christ gave. Thank you.